Hi everyone, this is Ariane Arsenault from La Fée de la Mer, Handmade Soaps, and I've just made a batch of our Salt and Kelp Spa Bar. This is a cold processed soap loaded with sea salt, and the edges are so rough when it's just cut. So I'm gonna be using my soap beveler from Lilu Soap Tools, and I'm also gonna show you my, um, my beveler trimmer combo, also from uh, Lilu Soap Tools. So you can see how you can make these rough edges more smooth. You can choose to work directly on the table. These tools have a grip that attach to your table so that when you push the soap forward, it doesn't move. Make sure you get the pro um, model because the basic models don't have the grip. But it's also useful to work in a dish um, so that you can collect all of those little trim offs in there and not everywhere on your table. So I'll show you both. So this one has a planer. So if you have like a, an edge that isn't smooth and you want to smooth it out or if it's too thick or if you want to make soap curls, this is a great for that. But I can't make soap curls with this soap because it's too hard. <laughs> it's a salt bar, so it's really hard. And then you have the little little beveler here. So this tool, like if you want to get an all-in-one, this one is my favorite. And then if you just want to bevel, this one is also very useful. It has the little beveler here. And when you buy your beveler, you can get it in two different sizes. Like you have this one is the one that takes off the less or the least soap off of the soap. And I don't like to waste soap, so this one was my favorite. But if you want to have like a, a bigger angle, you can absolutely do that. So let's, let's take a soap. And we just put it on and you just push it down and see how the edges are nice and smooth now compared to this side that are still really, really sharp. <laughs> so one, two, three, all done. And now when my customers hold this soap in their hand, well, <laughs> it won't be rough anymore because I promise this soap is really high in coconut and solid oils and butters. And then with the salt added, it makes a really firm bar of soap and it's not very comfortable when you first start washing with it. Voila. When you bevel your soap, always have a damp rag and a dry rag because if your soap is not cured enough, um, it can leave a little bit of drag on this, but one movement down with the wet rag and one with the dry and you're good to go again. And this keeps my soap nice and clean and it just takes like three seconds to clean it. <laughs> and I only have to do it every three, four, five bar of soaps. Nice and clean. So I made these soaps on a Friday and then we are Monday. So these have been hardening for about I believe some these are three days, two and a half days, because they, they were made, they were cut in the afternoon or even late afternoon. And they're still a bit, you know, a bit tacky. So one, two. And then it helps the soap to slide down as well. Makes a perfectly nice job. And this soap is so much better after being beveled. I don't bevel all of my soaps, but all of the ones that have sharp edges like this one that are not feeling comfortable, I do. Or sometimes when I wanna get um, soaps ready for a photo shoot, I'll bevel them. And you can bevel the soaps when they're fresh, like this one that's three days old. Uh, you can wait a week, you can do it after a month. It doesn't really matter. Uh, all that I've tried has worked. So.
So you can try at different um, cure time and see what works best for you. The two and one. I'm gonna do this one on the table because I'm gonna show you what the planer does. So here's one of my and pieces of soap and it's really thick. It's like probably, I don't know, a little bit under a quarter of an inch <laughs> thicker than the other one. So let's, let's try this one um, on the planer. So I'm gonna put the flat side against the planer. And I'm just gonna push it and see how it smooths out. And it will also reveal like the design because when you have the soap that is on the side of the mold, so this is the cut side and this is on the mold, then your design is kind of blurred out. So doing so, I am revealing the swirl more and more. And then I can do this until I have my desired thickness and I think it's good now. And then I can bevel with the little beveling tool that's on the same trimmer beveler. So that's it. So I really like this one because of that feature because it has both on it. So if, if I have imperfections on some of my soaps, then I can just plain them and make them look the same as everything else. Shall I, shall I do it again? Okay, so let's take an, another end piece and see how we can't really see the design right now. Oh. Now it's starting to show. Voila, looks already better. Have all of these little soap scraps and when I told you that this soap was really hard and so it's really crumbly <laughs> so I'll put that in here and we can start again And that's it. This is how I bevel my salt soaps. I love these beveler and trimmer. They are so durable. Stainless steel. Dishwasher safe. You can hand wash just like rinse under hot water. No need to add extra soap because it's already covered in soap. And then they are ready to go again in no time because all of the surface is smooth. There's no nooks and crannies. So you just wipe it down and you just keep beveling. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful and you can leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and find all of the information that I talked about today in the description box right below this video. Take care and I will see you next time.